here I have these set up for CCs and then they talk to OBS and they change to different cameras. So of course this one toggles on off for OBS record. This one is changing to the camera that you've been seeing me on. And then this one changes to another camera I have set up for sort of a close up for a guitar, right? So basically when I'm... <laughs> So I just wanted to talk a little bit about my setup here for teaching um, theory lessons uh, online, virtual, mostly guitar, some other instruments. It's basically teaching theory. And um, I use OBS as sort of the, the spine of everything. It's the backbone, it's running in the background. And for communication, to the students, I use Google Meet. That's the easiest thing I have set up. And uh, as far as uh, using OBS, I could just go into Google Meet and just use the laptop camera and a microphone and, and call it a day. But in this particular case where I wanna change cameras and do some close-ups, I like to use OBS and do some scene switching between different cameras. And the way I'm doing that is actually with the RC600, which is the Boss Looper. That's what you see right now. So this thing is completely, everything on here is programmable. It's, it's an awesome tool to have. It's not perfect. I mean, if you go on the forums, you'll see some, some issues, but uh, for what I'm doing and pretty much everything uh, that I could think of doing with this, it's, it's, it's pretty great. Um, in this situation with teaching um, guitar theory and uh, instruction, I'm using this guy as like a uh, camera switcher in OBS as well as a looper. So right here I have track one, that's to record, and that's, you know, to stop. Track two, and then this is tap tempo, and then this guy just changes through the different pages within the memory. Um, so when I click over to here, I have two more tracks, still have tap tempo. Um, honestly, when I'm teaching instruction, uh, the only thing I'm really gonna use is one track, but it's nice to have, yeah, who knows, who knows what'll happen, but. With the RC600, I change between different cameras. So right now we're looking at uh, the looper you see this button right here, I have these set up for CCs and then they talk to OBS and they change to different cameras. So of course this one toggles on off for OBS record. This one is changing to the camera that you've been seeing me on. And then this one changes to another camera I have set up for sort of a close up for a guitar, right? So basically when I'm... <laughs> When I'm online with a student or whatever, I can kind of get up close and personal in front of the camera there and they can see what's going on. So, I don't know. I thought that was pretty interesting and I thought I would talk about it a little bit here. Um, basically, when I did a search for OBS and RC600, I didn't see much of anything. Um, with the looper, you could go in and pretty much program all of these buttons for different CC's uh, MIDI commands to do all kinds of things. Whatever it's hooked up to, it can control. So let's talk about the RC600 setup. Super basic, what we're looking at here is these foot switches are numbered within the menu. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is foot switch nine. So I'm in mode one right now. Like I was saying before, this switches between modes. So this is mode one, then I tap that, it goes to mode two. Tap it again, it goes back to mode one. So the way I have this set up is super basic. We just go into uh, menu. We're gonna hit menu second time, and all of my MIDI commands are set up within a sign. So you tap on that knob, there's a sign, and we have all of these up to 16 assigns. I'm gonna page over to number 10, for example. 
Um, 10 is right here. And it, what it is is the source is pedal nine, mode one. Like I said, I'm in mode one right now. And this is pedal nine. So I have this here as a little label to show that when I press this, it changes to my guitar camera, you know, the close up guitar camera. So the way I have it set up on the RC600 is the pedal nine mode one, momentary, zero to 127, then you page over. And what it's doing, the target means, what is it gonna do when you press the foot switch? It's going to send a MIDI command of 20 and it's going to be a positive, um, let's see, value of 127. All right, so that was like a sign 10. A sign nine is pedal eight, mode one. So that would be this guy. Basically, when I hit this foot switch, it turns on my other camera, like my full size camera. And inside there, it's moment, zero to 127 again. And he's sending out a MIDI CC number of 15 with a value of 127. So the reason I'm showing you this is the next step is going to be setting up the MIDI message tool within OBS. So that receives the MIDI command of 15 and then OBS knows to change cameras. Now we move on to installing sort of the MIDI listener inside of your OBS software. It's just a simple plugin that comes from obsproject.com, as you can see up here. Basically, you're going to Google um, OBS MIDI.mg. If you just put that into Google, this will be the first thing probably that'll come up in your results. So you open up the website, it's going to look like this. OBS open broadcast or software. And then uh, it kind of gives you a rundown right here. If you can see my cursor, um, it'll show you how to whatever download it. It's pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> just shows you what you do. So you download it, which would be right here. This will take you to GitHub, download it. It walks you through how to install it. And then from there, what happens is you go into OBS, right? And you'll go up into tools up here in the uh, top bar. And you're going to come down here. And after it's installed correctly, you'll have like a OBS MIDI slash MG setup. So I have that installed, obviously. So we're going to click on it. And this is what it looks like. See down here, active device. This is your MIDI controller. In my case, it's the RC600. Um, you can see it's picking up all kinds of MIDI activity, things that I could select for controllers. Um, but for the case of this, we're going with the RC600. And then you would hit Create Binding. What that does is you'll start a binding here. You'll get this side page. And this is the guy that basically listens for your CC command. So you would hit listen once. This would all be blank zero values. And then you would uh, press the foot switch on the RC600 that you have already programmed. Like in the past where I did CC15 or a CC20. Step on that foot switch and this guy recognizes all of it. And then right here is where you tell it what you want OBS to do whether it be scene switching or um, change video sources, audio sources, record, you know, yada, yada. And then what scene you want to change to. And in my case for channel 10, control five, when I press that foot switch, I want it to change to the looper cam. And that's it. It's super simple. So all of these are basically your MIDI commands. You can see that I have that as 10. 15, 20. Those are different foot switches I have. Cool thing about this is that I have OBS record, I have phone two, and I have the guitar cam. 
These buttons here, they do looping, of course, like I said, this is play and record, and this is stop and delete. That's for two tracks here. But I also stacked some commands on this button. So every time I go to record, when I tap this button, it also changes to this camera on OBS. So if I'm, uh, you know, let's delete this first, right? And let's say I'm on this camera here and I hit the looper to record a riff. That's it, right? Over on the side of OBS, I have scenes. Um, it's like looper cam, guitar cam, phone cam. And I have it actually timed out with a sequence so that instead of me having to dance on the foot switches to change cameras, it'll actually sit on like this camera, for example, for 30 seconds. Then I'll go to the guitar camera for 30 seconds. Then I'll go to looper cam for five seconds. And then it just rotates over and over again, constantly changing while I'm playing the guitar or whatever it is. So uh, it used to be Back in the day, I used to actually have a Sony PlayStation remote, like for video games. I used to have that on the floor Velcroed to my carpet, and then I had to take my shoes off and control it with my toes while I was playing guitar. The little toggles and everything, I would do that with my toes to change camera angles and that. The little buttons would cue record and it was crazy. So this is much easier. Um, like I said, if you're at all interested in talking about setting it up, leave a comment, uh, any questions, whatever. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks.